Hello guys, this is the Swatter Guy here and welcome back to another Worth It episode and this time I'm gonna go again for a precious cargo pack but uh, I bought it actually for 41 million credits uh, uh, at the end of yesterday when I was really really tired but I saw this pack for 41 million so I saw the prices went down after like that 56 million and it was still a little bit profitable so I want to see on 41 million if I can still profit out for this so 26 precious cargo packs probably the last time I'm gonna open this or maybe not we'll see but for now let's check out what I'm gonna get out of 26 precious cargo hopefully it's gonna be good so let's go and check it out so the first one is going to be a rare already and it is the cooling tower now uh, this is a new one actually and this is a starship massive starship and the Mentilian pacemaker greek and the grand chance cube interesting next one another rare already and it is the Swamp Slybex. What the hell is going on? This is sick. No Bones, one of my favorite emotes. And the Pink Horror War Hero, which is pretty decent. Next one. Uh, the rares have stopped. We got the Sky Cruiser mount, which is kind of an old one. And it is also from the Cartel Market. City of Zaku Gold, which is good. And the Turka Bobber, which I really, really like. And the final one. What? the hell is going on keeper of iocat supplementary and the berserker armor set and the mood and rage i mean okay free rares just at the beginning i mean probably i'm not gonna get any more but that is sick i'm not gonna open the grand chance cube uh i'm gonna get this one and that's about it oh okay and this one so Okay, that is a surprise. So we have this cooling tower uh, for not that much, 640k. How does this one look? Like, wow, it is big as hell. <laughs> like, okay. Uh, the Keeper of Iocat Supplementary is 1.1 billion credits. Let's see if I can sell the individuals for a little bit more later on. I mean, I'm gonna keep the 1.1 million, but uh, I wanna see if the the helmet is cost a little bit more. 700, oh, no, I don't think so, so that is a fair price. We have the Swamp Slybex for, for 2 million credits, that is sick. We have the Turk Bubber for 400k, we have the City of Zaku Gold for 4.5 million credits. I think I can sell this around 3 million credits but this one looks really really cool by the way uh we have the sky cruiser mount for 310k that is a surprisingly bad uh this one for 45k let's see the berserker armor 200k okay uh emote no bones 1.9 million like this em emote is really really sick so i hopefully i can sell it this amount 1.4 million for a chance cube. That is nice. Uh, mood uh, angered. Uh, 85k. And this one is probably 4,000. No, 700k. Okay. Shockingly surprising. Okay, so I got some good stuffs, good rares, but uh, uh, not that much of a big deal for now because the prices are going massively down. But still, still, I'm, 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 I'm okay with this. Next one, uh, the ship wall locker, diligent engineer, upper body, and the advanced yellow blue. Next one is Resolon FC9, Umbarum Purple, and the Emo Chair 9. I don't know how many Emo Chairs are in, in this, but still, it's crazy. More in purple again, Primordial Blaster Besh and the uh, Die Model. The final one is another Grand Chance Q, Medical Monitor and the Betrayal MK3 Sniper Rifle. So this one is a little bit like bad, but still we got a Chance Cube at least and then and, and some of the old decorations, which I, I fairly accepted. I mean, old decorations are good. 
Uh, sorry about the Discord noise. I forgot to turn it off, so I'm just going to keep it for now on. Uh, so this one is 60k. Uh, this one is 95k. Sniper Rifle is 40k. Diligent Engineer Upper Body, I don't think it's too much. Yep, 90k. This one is 380k. This one is 60, I believe. Yes. Emo Chair 9. <laughs> 145-ish K, Grand Chess Cube was 1.4 million, Medical Monitor 250 K, let's see this one, and we're looking for this one, 400 K, Resolon FC9 is 55 K, and the Ship Wall Locker is 330 K-ish. Okay, this one was not the best one, but hell, uh, could have been worse. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe not, maybe not, but yeah, we'll see. 18 more to go. I mean, the first one was really awesome. Now we continue doing going the rares, and it is the Banshee Handler License. Now, probably now I got all the rares now out of this pack, and it's so good. Now the chance skews are coming up as well. Emo Sinister and the Banshee License, as I said. Next one. Is that's the Titan Fame Death and the Volcano decoration, which is really really good. Next one is Shadow Pilgrim Set Light Bar Green, which I'm actually looking forward to, and the MR37 Sniper Rifle. Let's open these individually. And the Luxuries Rock Gold Heroes Banner, which is really bad, and the Urban Umbaran Purple. Okay. I guess we got a really, really decent stuffs out of this, and that's about it. Now let's see how much is the banshee. Three point nine million credits. Not that bad. I mean, I don't like the banshee. I mean, I I really don't. So I'm I'm definitely going to sell it. A uh, hundred k for the environment purple. Set light bar green, 480k. How is this one looking? I mean, this one looks pretty decent, if you ask me. Uh, Volcano, hopefully, is still around a million. Wow, 3 million credits for Volcano decoration. I mean, it looks really, really good. But I can sell it definitely for 2 million, because I already sold 2 of mine for 2 million. So, I'm just going to stick it for 2 million for now on. That's the Titan, 42k. Emote Sinister, 100k. Emote Feign Death, or not just an emote, just Feign Death, 200k. Grand Chance Cube, 1.4. Heroes Banner, probably 10,000. Not even that. I'm not even gonna count this one. Luxurious Rock Gold, 780k. And this one looks pretty, pretty cool. Uh, sniper Rifle is 4,500. And this one is 125k credits out of it. Oops, I pressed the legacy instead of my instead of my dad. Okay. So here we go. Yeah, this is gonna be annoying, so I'm I'm just gonna turn this one off. Sorry about that. So uh, let's continue. 14 more to go. Let's see what do we got out of these. So we got the, the Largo uh, LS4, we got the Ceremonial Yellow Die, and the Underworld Starship Chair. Okay, next one. Uh, Ceremonial Yellow Die model, Salvage Droid, and Merim Agama, or whatever, how you can pronounce that. Interesting. Two more to go on this one. Uh, it is going to be the Betrayal MK3 Sniper Rifle, the Emo Backflip, and the Classic Conservator Armor Set. I mean, just look at that helmet, it's absolutely trash. But uh, this, the head of the others are really, really decent. The final one is Temple Clock, Frenzied Zealot Armor Set, and Umbaran Purple. I mean... I mean, okay. Interesting. We got some interesting stuffs here, mainly old ones, by the way. So, looking forward to these. Uh, nothing else. Okay. So, 
Uh, this one was around 100k, yes. Uh, this one, 40k. Ceremonial yellow dye, 400k twice. That is 800k. Classic conservator. Uh, 3.4 million. I mean, is it worth that much? There is no chess piece out of it. Probably. Probably I could say, let's just go for 3 million. See how it goes. The Legro LS4, 750k. Emote backflip is 200k, which is nice. Frenzied Zealot armor set. I think that is a fair price for it. Uh, six, yeah, that that is that is gonna be a decent one. Uh, one point eight million, that is definitely worth it. Uh, Merimagama seventy k, salvage droid, seven hundred and seventy five k from the underworld packs. Okay, temple clock, four hundred and twenty five k. I mean, this is a fairly nice one. And underworld starship chair is hundred and sixty k, and it's really bad, by the way. So yeah, uh, 10 more to go, 2 more stacks, and I am done and dusted. Let's see if we can get something good out of it. I really wanted to get the Shikak 1, or Shikaka, like I'm calling it. And the only thing that I don't have actually is the other mount. Uh, oh, I actually got the Shik, Shik, or whatever. So, the supplementary and the Grand Chance Cube and the Dewback, which is sick. Next one is another Grand Chance Cube, Boohoo and House Organa hanging. So, I'm gonna open a Grand Chance Cube. Uh, next one is another rare, which is the Swamp Slybex again, Model Tatooine Balloon and Network Lamp. And the final one, which is going to be the J34 Bio Containment Armor Set Emote Exile Child. That is an old one, and the Betrayal MK3 Pistol. Wow, that is a mixed one. I like it. Uh, grew two Grand Chance Cubes. Let's see if it's still still worth opening a Grand Chance Cube. I mean, nothing to lose here at this uh, at this stage. So let's see if we can get something good out of it. And it is the contractor contractor title. I don't know how much is this worth to be perfectly honest. Uh, we'll see in a second. So uh, I got the Shikakuan or Shikaka royalty for three million credits. That is really really nice. There's something on my nose. For God damn it. Uh, Swamp Slybex for uh, 2 million credits, I believe. Yes. Uh, Banner House Organa, 1.5 million credits. Uh, Be Betrayal MK3 Pistol, 150k. Let's see the Dewback, 750k. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know. Excited Child Emo, 700k. Emo Boohoo, this is an old one. And it's still worth nothing. This one is 1.4 million credits. This one is 100k. Wow. Uh, this one 140k. Network Lamp Orange is 750k. And the title Contractor is actually worth it. 1.8 million. So it is worth opening the Grand Chance Cube. It's been a while, but yeah, I got something nice. So the only thing that I don't have actually... Uh, that I opened is the other rare mount, which was a limited on the cartel market. So that is the only one I believe that I don't received, and obviously the platinums. But yeah, emote the Jarek, one of my favorite emotes. Uh, laboratory cabinet Umbarka, uh, Umbarian crystal. Next one is betrayal nomad hanging silk and. Two loyalist armor set. We getting so many armor sets today. Interesting. We got ourselves a rare again, which is going to be the Keeper of Iocat supplementary again. Uh, mossy whatever pet and Icos uh, XK7. Next one. And it is going to be dark purple and light blue, circa bobber and whatever it's called. Let's open these individually. Betrayal, Greenback, Exobar, and Lotion, whatever, free. And the final one 
It is a rare at the end. It is the Keeper of Iocat Supplementary in the Powered Exoguard Armor Set and the Emo Bob. So we got two rares at the end, but not the best ones, unfortunately. The Keeper of Iocat is, uh, is really low in price. It's gonna be rare later on, but for now it is it is going downhill because, because a lot of people wanted to get that one. So yeah, everything I got pretty much from this pack... Uh, except, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna t uh, show it to you, except the mount, which is this one. This is the only thing that I, I believe not received. The rest of the stuffs I had received. So I got the uh, this ones, I got all of these, probably all of these. Uh, oh, and the tuning, of course, I forgot that. So the tuning and that one, so that, that was the only two. So the Keeper of Iacat was 1.1 million twice, that is 2.2 million. Umbaran Purple is 100k. Uh, sniper Rifle was 40k twice, that is 80k. Took up over 400k. Even with the Jarek, hopefully it's still worth, oh yes, 1.4 million. I mean, the Jarek, who doesn't love the Jarek in the old Republic universe? 45k for the Blaster Rifle. Uh, I calculated that one. This one is 220k, Bob is 145k, Exobar is 45k, Icus 75k, Laboratory Cabinet 350k, Lotion 50k, this one 45k, this is getting worse and worse, Nomad Hanging Sills 187, Powered Exoguard 200k. And the two loyalists is 125k. This was really, really bad. Now, I probably... I First of all, I never expected to be this good in terms of rares. But the last time I got less rares, but I made more profit for it, out of it. And I'm actually trying to sell it so I can show it to you guys. And this is the stuffs what I had. So until this, uh, the gentle steer and the Exar Coon. So these are the stuffs that I not opened on the previous one, but the, the rest that are, for example, uh, the Shikak one and all of those stuffs, which was really, really rare at the time. I'm trying to sell it as fast as I can so I can make more money out of it. But the rest here is just uh, pretty much uh, old items or new items that is available already on the cartel market now that was it for this one and i will be right back for the total calculation so the total calculation has been done ladies and gentlemen and i received overall 50 million credits and 300k so overall i made around 9 million credits and in terms of like rarities and same things like that like to be perfectly honest, there is some really, really good ones, but also really, really old ones. And I think I received, like, so many good items. And hopefully I can sell the chance cubes and the rares uh, as good price as I used to. But uh, we'll see what happens in the future. I mean, this can go even up or down. But at some point, maybe I got the same money as... Uh, as I received or as I opened for the packs or maybe just the same but for now this was really really decent I hope you guys did enjoy this one and don't forget the next one is gonna be live on YouTube so not on Twitch on YouTube if I'm not gonna be on Twitch uh, already I'm, I'm not quite sure but the next one is gonna be live on Twitch it's gonna be a giveaway one so stay tuned for that one for more information and I will see you guys next time Bye, guys.